say, we catching redfish. Catch redfish. We catching redfish. But, but Grandpa, Grandpa caught one. Talk to the camera for a little while. Don't judge me. Good morning and welcome to day three of coronavirus quarantine. <laughs> As you can see, practicing a little bit of social distancing today. And what we're doing is trying to find some fish. We're looking for some trout, some redfish, some flounder, catfish, I don't care. We're looking for a good time. That's the main thing out here. We've got Jasmine and my dad. So far, we've got a bass and one little red. We've been cruising around the Wrigley's, Lake Catherine area, looking for some clean moving water, which we are not finding. Here's what we got. Nice, muddy water. Maybe a few inches of visibility. But for the most part, it's fairly dirty, uh, which is okay because we have nothing else to do. The trick to days like this is to just jump around, keep looking for it uh, until you find it. What do they say? Fake it till you make it? <laughs> Either way, we have a beautiful day. Uh, it should start to warm up. Sun's coming out. Wind's blowing a little bit. And we got quite a bit of current with the tide falling. So. Being as we don't really want to sit in the wind too much, we're going to tuck back into a few of these little duck ponds. See if there's any, some redfish laying around. Or any fish for that matter, because we'll catch anything today. Catching redfish. Catch redfish. We catching redfish. Yeah. You're going back? Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. And away he goes. Yeah. Always bring a push pole. Because you just never know. You know, it doesn't matter if you catch fish or not. As long as you're out on the water, enjoying nature and God's beauty, that's really all that matters in life. Uh, I get to share it with my daughter and my dad, and that's always fun. And life is good every day, no matter what's happening. As long as you think positive and be positive, you should have a positive day. Uh, even if you're not catching fish. Well, you win some and you lose some today. But 
we caught two, so we won. And to be honest with you, with this coronavirus scare, we could be at work. So this is better. It's better doing what we're doing. Riding around in the truck with my little girl who's probably about to fall asleep. Say hi, Jazzy. Yeah, hi. But it was nice being on the water. Coronavirus is out of hand, by the way. I believe it's being handled well, and I don't think we need to worry about it anymore as long as we take the precautions, stay away from people that we don't know anyway. And uh, it's all in God's hands anyway. So if we get it, we get it. If we don't, awesome. But we're not going to worry. Let God handle it. And we're going to continue to fish and we're going to continue to have fun. And unfortunately, we're not going to do a catch, clean, and cook today. But I do have a little fish in the freezer, so maybe we'll cook one in here. Well, since we didn't bring anything home to cook, we decided to do a little bit of freezer fish today. This is a whole speckled trout, obviously, minus the tail and the fins and the head. So, what we'll do with this is we're going to score it, season it, and then we're going to throw it on the grill and uh, cook this thing up real good. And then we'll make a little dipping sauce for it, and I'll show you about that. It's kind of a little bit of Cajun-Asian mix the grill tasty, so check it out. All right, first thing you're going to do is take a knife, and we're just going to score just slightly. To be honest with you, I went too deep. You have to excuse my kids. You know, we're all quarantined. Well, now that it's scored, we're gonna take a little bit of Tony's. And we're just gonna dash it. I don't know if that's not good. Just gonna dash it. A little bit on the outside. Make sure you're getting it down in your, your score marks. And inside. Yeah, now that we have that on, we should have taken a little bit of avocado oil first. And we're just going to rub this whole fish in some oil. So we're going to get it all nice and oiled up. That'll help it to cook nice and even. Alright, once you get your Tony's on there, we're going to use a little bit of garlic salt. Good combination. Feel free to put a lot on there because a lot of it's going to cook off of that skin. And then, the last thing we'll do is take a little bit of all purpose seasoning. Or, I'm sorry, all purpose flour. And we're just going to kind of drench it on there. Just give it a little bit of a bread coating. Almost breading on it. And that's what it ought to look like. Real pretty. Yeah. Works gonna throw it straight on. That's good and hot. Let it cook a little bit up through the belly. And then we'll flip it on side to side and we'll really get that skin nice and crispy. Well, I'd like to apologize. Some of my videos, I feel that I've got a really rush trying to make them. I always try to write down a little script and have an idea of what I'm about to do. And then things happen. And I just gotta really get going fast. But I want you to know that I do enjoy this and I love having everybody watch. Uh, I can't wait to see where this takes us and the things that we get to do with it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. And if there's anything you'd like to see me do or see do more of, 
please just leave it in the comments below give me a thumbs up tell your friends let everybody know because the more people who watch the more motivation i have to continue doing this it's a lot of fun all right let's see what this is starting to look like here oh yeah it's starting to crisp up a little bit i'll roll it over on the side here and let this start to roll on that side I also have a little bit of hickory down in here that I'm gonna let start smoking. Mm. 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 I don't know if it's gonna be real good on there, but I can't go wrong with a little bit of smoke. Well, while that fish is cooking on there, we're gonna whip up our dipping sauce. The dipping sauce is gonna consist of some vegetables that I had previously cut up for another meal, but you know, it's hard times, so you gotta save everything. Just a little onion, bell pepper, celery mixture they call a mirror pulp. Then we're going to use a uh, chili sauce, a sweet chili sauce. Sweet. Soy sauce. This is the best kind by the way. You got to go to the Asian market for this. And also some spiced vinegar. <laughs> so, what we'll do, first thing, take a little bit of your chili sauce a little more maybe a little bit more this is this thick bit of the vinegar. This vinegar is so good. Then, just take something and give it a little stir. I think I'm going to need a little more chili sauce. Let's see. That's good. That is good. A little bit of a bite. Real sweet. Real, real kind of salty, tangy. Mm. You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Believe me, you're gonna like it. Alright, this thing's gotta be just about done. It's the whole way that I got, I got, I got the meat coming off already. Mmm. Get the rest. Oh, mama. Would you look at that? Look at that, folks. Crispy skin. Nice white meat. The bone. All right, let's get it. I'm gonna eat this piece. This piece isn't so hot. Got a bone. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's hot. That's good. So hot. I tell you what. Leave me a comment telling me what you think about this and if you've ever cooked fish this way. And if there's a better way of doing it, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to do it till, my, till I burn myself to death. Mm. Mm. Ooh, mama. All right. well, I'm going to take this in the house, try to get my girls fed and have fun. So, y'all stay safe out there. Try to enjoy this quarantine and this shelter at home stuff. Go find something fun to do, find something good to eat, and try to get outside, because that's what it's all about. I love y'all.